Hi, Matt with Lid Locks here, and uh, today I'm going to uh, show you what you need to do if you lose your Lid Locks keys or if you buy a used bike uh, that didn't come with any keys. So, the first thing to do is go to the Lid Locks website and go on uh, replacement parts under categories and buy yourself either a uh, single, if that's what you need, or a pair of lock cores, uh, replacement lock cores. They're going to come with two new keys in the case of the single and four keys in the uh, case of the pair and of course the pairs are going to be keyed alike. Your new lock core will also come with a two millimeter allen key that you'll need to uh, swap out your lock cores. <clears throat> so when you get your new lock cores in the mail and uh, your allen key just go ahead and all these lid locks have a set screw on the bottom uh, underneath. Uh, if you didn't install them in the first place you, you're not going to know it's under there but uh, that's what locks that lock core in there. So take your two millimeter allen, loosen that set screw, and then take the keys that you receive with your new lock core. Now they won't actuate the lock, obviously. They're not matched uh, unless you get really lucky. Uh, they're random key numbers. And uh, you're just gonna use it as a tool because this key has a little ridge on there and those barrel locks have a little slot on the inside. And uh, you just put that uh, ridge into the slot just slightly so you can grab that lock core and get it going. There's no other way to grab it. And uh, you unscrew that. And when you get it so far out, then you can grab it. Unscrew it all the way. Then uh, take your new lock core. And uh, thread that in. As far as you can by hand. Then again, take your key. And don't push the key all the way in as if you're actuating the lock. Just put it in partially so that that little ridge grabs the slot so you can turn that lock core in. When you turn the lock core in until it stops and it needs to be flush with the end of your lid locks to work properly, uh, then of course you just snug your set screw back down. And don't over tighten the set screw. It's a small screw, just snug it down. And uh, there you go, you're good to go. You're swapped out, you've got new keys and new lock cores. Take that old lock core and throw it in the trash and you're done with it. Uh, these are priced very reasonably uh, so you can service your lid locks without uh, spending a lot of money. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.